Hey guys, it's me Hero Talk and welcome to another video on my channel. So recently the Russo brothers confirmed that there will be two to three post credit scenes in Civil War. So um here are some theories what will or could happen in these post credit scenes. So number one, I think something with Spider-Man could happen. So he is just new in the MCU. He just appears in this movie and no one really knows him. Okay, many people know him, but he's new to the MCU. So a little scene in which the character itself gets explained or maybe you'll see something of the origin story of him maybe you'll just watch um or look at a photo of uncle ben and there'll be something with aunt may maybe something like that but i think if there there is a post credit scene with spider-man i think there'll show something that includes him into the avengers that just shows that he is now a member of the Avengers. So he maybe you see him training in this um Avengers hall that we saw uh in the Ant Man movie at the end of Avengers Age of Ultron. Maybe this or in the Avengers Tower in New York. Maybe something like that. Number two Bucky taking Cap's shield or just some symbolic action that shows us that he takes Cap's position and probably this that he takes um, his shield is just the best thing that he could do to do to show this uh, but this if this is a um, post credit scene this means that uh, Captain America has to die in the movie in order to make this credit scene possible. Number three, Doctor Strange. Often in the MCU movies, um, the post credit scenes just introduced the next heroes. Take Thor, uh, the Dark Kingdom, or the Dark World, um they went to the um to the collector to give him uh this infinity stone and the collector was never seen before and he just appears in Guardians of the Galaxy uh, for the first time so they could maybe just show something of Doctor Strange to introduce him in the MCU number 4 and this includes also number five, Thanos. Something with Thanos. I mean, Infinity War is getting closer and closer. And Thanos just has to get a little more active. Um, we saw him, I think, three times. One time he just smiled to the camera, one time he just uh, had a sentence and still was seated on his throne or whatever. And then, in Avengers Age of Ultron, he apparently got more active. And he has to, because Avengers Infinity War um, gets closer and you have to... Uh, build a storyline up to the point in which really a war starts between Thanos and the Avengers. And this brings me to number five. Vision going to Thanos. Because there are ma many theories that before Infinity War Vision has to die because he has a mind gem the mind gem and infinity stone 
in his front and Thanos wants to get all the infinity stones to complete his gauntlet and since it is the mind gem that uh, makes life possible for vision if Thanos would take this out he'll probably die so number six um, maybe we'll see Wakanda as I said in number one they could show Spider-Man they could also show something of Black Panther because also Black Panther is just uh, has just appeared in um, Civil War and nobody really knows him Black Panther isn't that famous like Spider-Man so maybe we'll see something of his origin or his own story and number seven my last theory the Hulk after Age of Ultron you don't really know what is up with the Hulk he just flew away at the end he just flies away and nobody really knows where he is or what he does and we have something like a confirmation for him being in a Thor Ragnarok and yes maybe we'll see something where he just arrives to Asgard this could be possible so thanks for watching guys we'll see us in the next video stay tuned for that and I'm out Thank <music> you.